1978, in 1981, in 1983, I went on research projects out of the University of California, Berkeley, mm -hmm. to study North Indian religious movements. And as you know now, politically, it's a topical uh, subject because of the Sikh uprisings yes. in the Punjab. So my area, or my forte, has been on the history of religion in Northern India, mm -hmm. and also on the influence of those religions in America, you know, this rising of these new religious groups and cults. Tell me some of the things about the research on the Indians. Well, in India, as you know, there's a variety of different religious groups. And this struggle between the Sikhs and the Hindus and the Muslims at this point has arisen out of a religious context. And so my job as a researcher out of Berkeley was to study the history of the religion, and in particular a movement called the Radha Swami faith and the Sant tradition. And as you know, there's a lot of gurus that come from India to America. And my job was to study and interview all these different gurus in India. How can you tie that in currently with uh, the, the, the assassination of uh, uh, Gan uh, what Indira, Gandhi. Indira Gandhi? The assassination with Indira Gandhi, what happened was last June, Indira Gandhi ordered uh, an attack on the Golden Temple, which is the, the famous shrine for the Sikhs in Amritsar. My wife and I would happen to have been there in Christmas time, and there's been a real political tension in the Punjab because the Sikhs, extremist Sikhs, only a small percentage of those Sikhs want to form their own state that state called Khalistan, and they've been killing and assassinating very famous people in India. So Indira Gandhi had orders from her uh, military advisors to ransack the Golden Temple, to kill those particular uh, uh, terrorists. And when she did so, however, many more Indians were killed than she expected. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the moderate Sikhs, those people who are not extremists, have gone over to the extremist side. Two Sikhs killed, as you know, uh, Indira Gandhi, and it came as quite a shock two Indians. However, I was talking to Professor Mark Jurgensmeyer, who's an expert on the Sikh tradition of northern India, and he told me that he, he was surprised that she lived so long.